Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Today I wanted to go over something that will help us in our next lesson on functions, which is the fact that every time you run a corn shell command, it returns a status code for you. So here's our function name, our program name, excuse me, and it introduces return values for corn shell commands. All corn shell commands return a number code. It's stored in this special variable right here, dollar sign question mark. Now, every time you run a corn shell command, the value within dollar sign question mark gets updated. So this value in dollar sign question mark is only good for your current command. And the way it works is if the command runs and doesn't produce any errors, the value returned is zero. And if an error happens, then dollar sign question mark will have something other than a zero in it. And that's an indication of an error. So our first command here, everything above this was all comments except for our course pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh. But this right here, print high, it's a perfectly valid statement. So when we run our program, we will print the word high to the screen and a zero will get assigned to dollar sign question mark. Our next line, we just print out the value within dollar sign question mark. And this right here is another print statement. So that will in fact overwrite the dollar sign question mark that was obtained from running this pro this command. The next thing we do is we try to use a print statement with an invalid flag. Minus five is not a flag that the corn shell print statement knows. So when you run this it's going to produce an error and a number that is not zero will get put into dollar sign question mark. Let's take a look at that right now. So here we are running our program and we print high, print it out perfectly good, perfectly well, excuse me. And as a result, dollar sign question mark is zero because that's what our print next print statement was it said print backslash dollar sign zero is dollar sign zero and then we try to run an invalid command and the result of that is an error and the result in dollar sign question mark is two so let's go back to our code and take a quick look at it. So we ran our print statement, print high, that worked fine. And the next thing we did was we printed the result, the return code from this print statement with this statement right here. And that was in fact zero. There were no errors when you ran this print statement. And then we tried to run this print statement that returned an error. And in this case, it was a number two. And that got printed right here. However, here's what I want to show you. The very next command after our print dash five high is another print statement. And this one prints out just fine. So therefore, this dollar sign question mark is two for this and it's going to be zero for this. So we try to print out dollar sign question mark again, and it should be a zero. And that zero is because this print statement worked. So let's take a look. And as you can see, we had our dollar sign question mark is two. That's because of the error print statement. And then we had a dollar sign question mark is zero because this print statement worked. So please 
just take away from this that every time you run a corn shell command, it produces a return value, and that return value gets stored in dollar sign question mark, and that return value is only good until you run another corn shell command.